Give up crime, he'll never defeat the undercover unicorn. Right, who wants next? What is that voice? I, I don't really know. Nineteen forties man <laughs> strikes again with the power of hydrogen fusion. <laughs> no, just in my head. Okay. Oh, so we're on to Jimmy Lightning, the rad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be you. Uh, things are radical. Stuff is awesome. And yet, just because of the way I look and talk, and I don't what why what? And yet, just because of the way I talk and how I look, people assume I'm a dummy. But like this time, one time I totally dreamed about curing all disease by using T blockers to catalytically suppress RNA redundancy. It was tubular, dude. It was test tubular. That's quite amusing, but what he said makes absolutely no sense. Yeah. Unfortunately. I mean, T blockers are like an immune autoimmune response inhibitor kind of thing, which work. They work for certain kind of stuff like, oh, what's that big autoimmune? I don't know. But lupus. It's never, never lupus. It's never lupus. Um, but <laughs> RNA, RNA redundancy doesn't mean anything. And catalytically means to do something faster. So to fast, catalytically suppress something is also redundant or actively wrong. Also, multi-ball is a shit bonus. It's like just, it's a worse version of Spooky Pumpkin. I don't know, because yeah, if you hit it at the right angle, they go off flying in different directions. But you can do that with Spooky Pumpkin. Not necessarily. I, you can. I mean, it does it does launch it with some beans. That was quite cool. Oh uh, yeah. Like it does. It doesn't. It does. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh, what was that about? Multi ball is is. Okay, that was that was. Un oh my god, that's yeah, not okay. That's offensive. That's uh, terrible. That was unusually good. Oh, this looks like a friendly face here. Like that's an eye. That's an eye. And that's a little mouth kind of. Like, Does a little bit, yeah. And hit him straight in the eyeballs. <laughs> Put gouge out both his eyes. Oh yeah, there or we go. Or her eyes. I'm rather loving the uh, monster blood gunk in the background. <sighs> that was ludicrous. It was. Have you? Did you ever read Goosebumps as a child? No, I always saw them at like school book fairs and never anywhere else. I never like you don't just see them at bookshops. You did when I was young, yeah, but yeah. that was you know thousands of years ago. A few a few decades before Still, you. Back when they were building the pyramids and all. Yeah. Hanging Christ. Hanging! Fucking crucify it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, famously hanged. How was he crucified, not, though? Not true. What? How was he crucified? I don't know. On a on a on a tree. No, it was a um, piece of wood. But um, well, not don't through, tell that to the Jehovah's Witnesses. Not through the hands, through the whist, wrists. <laughs> through the wrists. <laughs> through the wrists. I west him. <laughs> uh, you're clearly thinking of Life of Brian. It was in there. Uh, no, that was the thing I learned recently. It's a big thing with Jehovah's Witnesses that Christ wasn't killed on a cross. He was like just nailed to a just a, a tree trunk, so his arms were just wrapped around and just nailed in from the back. Apparently that's important. I think that was to do with separating from the shame of being crucified because, no. But they don't really, they, Jehovah's Witnesses don't really, the weird thing is they don't really give a shit about Jesus one way or the other. He's not really featured that heavily. He's there, but he doesn't play a big part. Because they're not like, they're not, they're not like Trinitarian or anything. <coughs> you okay? Oh, there goes my lungs. Sorry. Okay, I mean, I've been shitting on multi-ball, but it's actually proved fairly effective so far. But I think that's because I've got good high green placement. I think if the greens fall low, it's shit. But that's the thing. It, all of these superpowers No, because Spooky terrible. Pumpkin is good anywhere the green is. So are ones like Fireball that affect your next shot. Mm. I think this one has a high propensity to be crap. Oh, that was I think you have a high propensity to be crap. The scores would say otherwise, Sprite. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like that was Just because you test market. well. Hey. Just saying. This is gloriously, uh, sort of 90s uh, horror science fiction type yeah. thing. I love it. Rad scientist. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna call myself that. Oh, do you know I was messaging my niece? I need, oh, I should change my Twitter handle to that. Rad underscore scientist. Twit handle. I said Twitter. I just moved. Okay, I may have stumbled it slightly. I meant to say Twitter. You said Twit handle. Okay. Um, Twat handle. <laughs> yeah, I was I was messaging my niece to show how cool I am. I think I said um, radical, and she was just like, "I actually I'm gonna disown you." I was like, "Yeah, it wasn't even cool when I was young." I was gonna say it was no, it was it was kind of shitty cool in the mid '90s, in like in the same way Sonic was cool, in that it wasn't. Sonic was never cool. exactly, but it kind of had the feeling as though it was. No, it was always used, like, ironically by people who thought they were being cool. The uh, third Spider-Man movie argument. 
Yes, quiet. Oh! Right, this last shot's gonna be easier, difficult, yes! Right, this is gonna be hard. Is that like a warning? <laughs> okay. <sighs> also, I heard what you say, filthy bastard. I don't know what you're talking about. Go away. Oh! Oh my god, I that thought was that incredible. was never gonna happen. That was incredible. That was not what I was planning, by the way. I yeah. was thinking I was gonna miss and get in the bucket. Mm. This is still gonna be really hard. Fuck off with your mouse cursor ball bollocks. I need to I need to get this purple out of the way and catch it. Okay, we'll just spin the mouse thing. There you go. Okay. Drink the cool head. Oh come on! Yes, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That was close, that one. That was very close. I'm on close. zero, I only just got it. Like, that was why I had to catch that last shot. Yeah. Still mildly disgusted. 14,000 is a joke for fever score. <laughs> I've still never on recording got Ultra Extreme Fever, you know, where you clear the board. Oh, I really? Know. No, I never got that during the original series. <gasps> I think you should do that. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like it was by choice. Oh, that's kind of cool with the injecty things. Yes, injecty things. Uh, isn't that what it is? Otherwise known as syringes? It's not really a syringe though, you see? It's more like a piping thing for like a cake. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Come on. No. Nope. Oh. I was just hoping we would get hit one more and I would have got a free ball from just... No, it would have been just under for that. Would it? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Come on, bucket! Yes! <laughs> Alright, if I get some guff up here, I should be able to hit that green, just hopefully by random bonging. There we go, come on, come on, oh, there we go. I love the random bonking. I said bonging, actually. Bonking sounds better. Okay, that was a bloody good shot, I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm on, I'm <laughs> on, three shots later, I'm still on 12, having started on 10. I've still taken negative two shots. This is a good time to be alive. I think I might be able to get Ultra Extreme Fever on this. I think you should aim for it. But I learned a good trick for it on the phone version. Oh my god! That was insane. What the... <laughs> <laughs> right, I want to leave one to make sure I'm not going to hit it accidentally. Like, leave an obvious one that's not near any others. Yeah. I think, yeah, the trick I learned for the Ultra Extreme one is aim for the purples. Because that mm -hmm. way, like, if I hit a purple with my orange multiplier this high... Yes. I basically only need to hit, like, two pegs after it to get a free ball back. Like, yeah. watch. Like, this will set it... Okay, maybe not that high, but... Either way. Um, it's gonna hit oh your red shit. one there. Yeah, those two are the actual ones I've gotta watch out for. If I hit in, in here, that should be relatively safe. I'm actually at the point where I've gotta be careful to not hit the reds. This is ludicrous. Yeah. Oh, that and don't forget the blue one above them. Oh, that one, fuck. Actually, there I can make sure I fly right out to the left, so. Yeah, go for I'm it. i try that now. Just catch the bucket. Boink. I honestly thought that that was gonna hit the other blue ones. Oh, too soon. Alright, this I can get both off and maybe get it in the bucket if I get to the bucket over the left. Oh, no, fuck, fuck! Nah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a good- I still had eight shots, I could have oh done that, that's God. annoying. That is uh, hilarious, and that's gonna go into 10,000. I mean, I'm still gonna get a lot of fever points anyway, because I've got eight balls left, so... That still is quite a good fever. Uh. Oh, that's annoying, that was ludicrous. Let's watch that bad boy again. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is ludicrous. Ludicrous damage, your world got rocked. <laughs> you get that reference. I don't. No, you you wouldn't. Is it something that I'm going to have nope. to be subjected to? Nope. No. Is it is it Halo? It's not Halo. <gasps> it's WarioWare. Oh wow. Well. well I should So you know you know do you know the Mario Party games? Vaguely. Like, yeah. You know how they have like mini games? Like, oh my god, he's totally dropping jizz into his face. Look at him. Right, if your jizz is that colour, see a fucking health. No, but look at his face. It's bright red. That is absolutely, absolutely. That's the, the kind of jizz that's jizz on my face. That's the kind of jizz that's accompanied by a burning sensation. <laughs> Probably, but his face is definitely, you know, Come guzzling. It's not even guzzling. It's the I've got to pretend that I want him to go all over my face. That is the porn What's face. What's wrong with you? That is a porn face right there. And as said many, many right. times, there's a lot wrong with it. What me. I was going to say before I got filthily interrupted was, so yeah, you know you have, how you have the mini games in Mario Party that like... Sure. You do. Like you have four turn, you have a turn, everyone has a turn on the board, then you do a little mini game, they go like that. WarioWare is, A, imagine if it was just the mini games, and B, imagine if the mini games 
they use only the control stick in A. They come with no instructions, you're just presented with one, and you've usually got between three and five seconds to figure out what to do and do it. Mm-hmm. That's, that's WarioWare. Oh! Oh, that was nice. How many points did I get for that? I got, like, seven, a lot of free ball stuff. Can I watch that again? I watched that meter. I just went loony. I went yellow by the end. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, so you've got, like, a tiny amount of time to figure out what to do and do it. And there's about, I think that's 400 in total. So after playing it for a while, you can get a feel for it. <laughs> See, that's the kind of situation in which multi ball is just a big -ball, eh? steaming heat. No, you're mucky ball with your fucking cum guzzling bullshit. I don't do cum guzzling. I'm just saying that's what that face is. <laughs> Christ! There are people. Yeah, to be fair, I've my not family got... watched this. I've, hmm? <laughs> I've, I've not got enough balls to do this. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Get your brain out of the fucking gutter. <laughs> I'm going to fuck this up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I need to do some bullshit. That's, that was... Well, God, I pissed that into the wind, didn't I? <laughs> Don't pee into the wind. Oh, that's quite cool. This should get some cool shit going on. If it doesn't go orange, I'll be very upset. Uh, yellow, even. It won't. Oh. See, that's the thing. Sometimes you're like, oh, this is really good. Oh, that was it. We're done now. Good day, sir. I said good day. <laughs> the otter. What? The otter with the teddy bear. What? It's a me. Oh yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was thinking. Right. So firstly, I was thinking about the Willy Guzzling. Wonka. Willy Wonka. And then I was thinking you talking about you like the otter with the thing. I was like, were you meaning otter in the sense of like a hairy gay man? Because <laughs> you're talking about. Did I tell you about the time that my friend put on Facebook, <laughs> whatever you do, don't Google naked otter. So naturally, did he know? I had to Google naked did, otter. Did he know? I he, presume he, it was some. I think like, it was a girl, actually. Right. See, that's the thing. Like that could that could be like, don't Google it because I've you'll get you'll this. get you'll get gay hairy men. Or it could be just like like a lot of animals. Otters might just look really freaky when that's they're what shaved. Because like you know, yeah. like it, the bear. There'd recently been the the owls without fur, and they look <laughs> terrifying. Um, They've got knees. Feathers. They've got knees. Yeah. Owls have knees like up they next do. to their face. It's not right. Yep. And they should be able to hide them like horrifying that. Horrifying <laughs> without feathers. I'm not saying something because I don't even like oh. birds. But yeah, they look pretty horrifying. It's really funny. Here's a thing I was hearing the other day is that apparently, so you know, we have it in our culture that like owls are wise and stuff like that. Yeah. That's really unique to like European cultures. In most one, owls are just fucking stupid. Because they, they're, when they look at you, they're like, hood hood, motherfucker. They always just look really high. They look high and they're omens of bad things. I can see that. They look freaky. You look freaky. Well, that was just uncalled for. You also are very knee-ish. <laughs> very knee-ish. <laughs> Alright, if I can just get a sweet ass slide down here. Oh, nope, nope. That was a terrible slide. You're a terrible slide. And you missed the purple, for God's sake. Oh, yes, look, it's a noble prize. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a noble prize. Noble pri Nobel. Not Nobel. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. A lot of people get that wrong because it's not named after... It's not because it's noble, it's named after... Nobel. Alfred Nobel, who was a Swiss. Sw no, Swedish something. Yes. I want to say chemist. I don't know. Oh my god. Have I told you what I suddenly started listening to? Oh god. I started listening to podcasts. Um, okay, that's not particularly surprising, but I'm, I'm willing to listen. It's it's new for me. I've never listened to podcasts really? before. Yeah, I've just never really gotten that thing. I'm, I'm an audiobook person. I mean, why not both? The two aren't mutually exclusive. Anyway. Because I, I never have time for reading all the books I want to read anyway. But um, now I've started listening to podcasts. Oh, are you restarting? Just three. But the, 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 the. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I started listening to a true crime one. And it's been really fascinating because it's not necessarily... What do you mean by true crime? So it's usually criminals or unsolved cases not necessarily murders but they tend to be murders but this it's just it's really fascinating so there was this one the swedish twins who were swedish by descent but one of them lived in ireland and she had kids and they had no history of mental health problems anything like this and the other one uh I think she lived in sweden or she might live somewhere else anyway and she went to visit her sister and they suddenly started being really like really bonkers and they were both perfectly fine then they saw one another just went insane went off to England ran out on the motorway in front of people 
caused loads of problems, got completely like smooshed. Like one of them, her legs was just crunchy barred. And, um, oh, that's not a good yeah, description. No. And, um, and the other one was released because she wasn't harmed and they didn't think, hmm, Psych might want to hang on to this one. Because she apparently seemed fine when they spoke to her. But then she sort of, she ended up on the streets and she was like, I want to find my sister. And some nice person took her in and was like, okay, you know, I'll feed you and we'll find her. He was running around hospitals to find her sister. She stabbed him with a pair of scissors and wandered off into the night. Jesus. And, um, yeah, and it's this whole thing of like when you'd, when they were talking to her afterwards, like they were like, she clearly was bonkers, but she's not right now. We know because we've got all this record of what she's done today. There's something really wrong, but it's like it's like a flash of insanity. What? 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 Yeah. Right, I've got a lot of questions. First, why do you listen to this? I really enjoy these things. Why? I don't know. That's kind of morbid. That's really morbid, actually. I've always been kind of fascinated by serial killers and yeah, I read a lot oh, of detective stuff. Them. You know this. If you were male, you'd be a school shooter in America. I really wouldn't. I'm not fascinated by serial killers. Like. Hmm, what do they do and how can I join them? It's much more, what makes someone like that? And it's it's so fascinating because it's not just like nurture. It absolutely isn't. There's absolutely nature in there, but there's something else as well that no one really knows. Because they, for ages, it was all about losing your primary caregiver in the first five years, whoever the primary caregiver was. But that's not <gasps> it necessarily. Sorry, that was a ludicrous that shot. A shot. I, I mean, it is a ludicrous shot because it's still fucking going, as you were. Um. And yeah, it's this it's this fascinating soup of they don't necessarily even have to be like abused from bad places. Some of them are just perfectly normal. And it turns out all this is going on in the back of their mind. Well it's like the one you just said there in Mandarin, did you see that case recently with the Australian family? Do you know, someone sent it to me, but I didn't have time to read it. What was it about? So basically oh, <laughs> loser. Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> shut up. So it was basically, it was a similar thing to what you described, that just like this family that uh, seemed perfectly normal, no previous instances of anything weird, just went mental, and they became like convinced that the government was, or like someone was after them and trying to kill them, so like they got all their, like they had like adult kids who were like living with them because they were on, like a farm in Australia, so like what, 20, all the kids were like in their 20s, like something like late 20s, and then yeah, so they just basically went on the run and they said to the kids like, right, gotta go on the run. No cat, uh, no credit cards, no phones or anything. Just like, just just off grid. Mm. Went for it, and then like the whole story just sounded mental. Like that they drove like miles, and then like one of them like abandoned them, and then the other one like got separated from them, and like went and stole a car to like try and get back and stuff like that. One of them was found like on a train four hundred miles away and stuff like that. It was crazy. Wow. And like, were they assessed afterwards? Are they okay now? Yep. Seem to be by all accounts. Back to normal. Do you remember the name of what it's called? It's type of illness. Yeah, it's um, um, folie a deux. Folie a deux. French uh, madness of two. Yeah. But I mean, it can be like a family thing. But it's, yeah, 